Luke Leatherman with Fueling Parts, a no bullshit just performance overview of our hydraulic lifter lineup. We have our HP Plus and Race Series offerings for the Milwaukee 8, Twin Cam, Sportsters, and Evolution engines. The HP Plus series of lifters is an excellent bolt-in replacement to mild performance, sold at a popular price. The Race Series lifters, small batch, high precision, slower leak down, more suited for the high performance engines with heavier valve springs and steeper ramped camshafts. The race series lifters are also offered in oversized diameters and both in full travel and short travel versions. This is our HP Plus lineup. It is full travel with a total of 200 thousandths. We recommend setting the preload between 90 and 100 thousandths. This is our race series version. Full travel, 200 thousandths. And here is our short travel version. Race series, same components as the full travel. However, the short travel has a spacer that goes on the top, which is gonna set the piston down deeper into the body. Once again, this is so that the lifter doesn't have to fill as much. You can see what the seat looks like. High precision, slower leak down, this is a great bolt-in, mild performance, popular price. I want to touch base on a, a critical part of an engine build, and that's pumping up the hydraulic lifters. We want to manually pump them up. We highly recommend using an oil squirt can and manually pumping it up through the side feed hole. This is going to ensure that the lifter is fully pumped up when you go to put your push rods in, whether you're using one piece or adjustables, and this is going to better ensure a quieter engine on startup. So we're going to use an oil can through the side feed hole and we want to push all the air out of the lifter. Once again, the HP Plus and Ray Series lifters are offered in full travel. 200 thousandths of total travel in the lifter. We want to set the preload to 90 to 100 thousandths. And then the Ray Series is also offered in the short travel version. We're gonna drop the push rod seat down into the lifter body. This is so the lifter doesn't have to fill as much. Uh, better suited for large lift, fast acting uh, ramped camshafts. And then we wanna shoot for a thousandths to a thousandths and a half lifter to bore clearance. The closer we are to a thousandth side clearance between the lifter and the lifter bore, the better pressure we're gonna have at the lifter, better performance out of the lifter, it's gonna be quieter, and we're gonna see more oil flow through the push rod and up into the top end going to create a happier engine. All right, here's the lineup of the fueling hydraulic lifters. I'd really like to touch base just a little bit on manufacturing. For one, our lifters are manufactured all here in the United States. That's something that we're pretty proud and pumped on. But I'd like to kind of backdate going into the lifter bodies that we do use because there are some questions and I think some confusion out there, especially with the Twin Cam and Milwaukee 8, where some guys out there uh, want to use just regular automotive lifters. All right, kind of backtrack and start with the evolution that these lifters were proprietary to Harley. And even though that Harley does some pretty decent volume, you know, 200, 225,000 units a year, which is quite a bit of lifters. But in the grand scheme of things, when we start talking mass manufacturing, like hydraulic lifters are produced, that quantity and that volume's not very high. And to have your own dedicated lifter kind of leads to, you know, more of a pain in the butt, if you will. And so what Harley did moving forward, for example, this is the Sportster lifter, 904 diameter, very common with the Chrysler lifters. And so it's a modular body to stuff that's already being manufactured out there. And we get over to the Twin Cam and the Milwaukee 8. You can see, uh, you know, our offering right here. These are definitely dedicated General Motors bodies. They're in a lot of engines out there and they're in mass production. However, what makes the lifters, the ones that we sell, uh, unique in comparison to automotive lifters are going to be that the Harley engine is running two lifters per hole. And you start comparing that to a V8, V6, what have you, where you have a whole bank of lifters feeding the top end, your oil flow difference from an automotive engine compared to you know, the twin cylinder Harley is completely different. And on the flip side of that, automotive engine is engines, especially of today, are really all designed to run five weight, 10 weight oil at the max. These Harleys were running 
2050. There's some guys out there that even like to run, you know, straight up 60 weight. Uh, so there's a huge difference in the oil that we're running through the lifters and the amount of oil that needs to flow through these lifters. All right, one little, another little uh, tech tip here is what we're doing with the Harleys are set up with slower bleed down and leak down rates because we're running much higher valve spring pressures than what the automotive engines are. It's not uncommon to, you know, even on the low side of a Harley engine to be in the 150, 160 range of valve spring seat pressure where you're going to find down on the automotive side of things, you know, something that's very similar is going to be down in the range of a buck 25 or so. Fueling lifters are proudly made in the United States. We stand behind them with a one-year warranty. If you're interested in an additional year for a total of two-year warranty, we ask that your crankshaft runout is below five thousandths. You drop your oil tank, do a full clean and flush. Got a little form on the website for warranty registration that you need to fill out. We want you to buy fueling with complete confidence.